Hello, my name is Barty and welcome to the MySaw Workshop. It's good to have you in the shop today. Today we're going to talk about hand planes and the first time you ever try to use hand planes. In my shop I've got a joiner and I always thought a joiner made a real nice smooth piece of wood. Well now that I've really gotten to know hand planes and, and, and seen them in use and used them myself, I know there's a smoother surface, a flatter surface, and a better finish that you can get with a hand plane. When I first started, I bought some hand planes off eBay, some old Stanleys. They looked good. I fixed them up. I shined them up. I sharpened them up and I tried to use them. First time I used them, didn't get anything. Then I'd dial them in and crank them down a little bit, move the blade a little bit, looked like the right thing to do, and I'd get a divot. I'd chunk it in, and I'd mess with it, and it would hardly go across. So there's just some things that I think you might can learn by watching me do this. And if you're, if you're beyond this, 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 this video is probably not for you. Uh, but if you're brand new at this, you just might want to look at this and see what I do and see if it makes sense to you. So let's go do that. So this is a little um, show and tell about planting a board if you've never done it before. Uh, this is my version of a beginner doing doing this. This is a Lee Nelson 62. Uh, it's a jack plane. It's what I'm going to use to get this initially smooth. You know, listen to it. The big deal is to listen to stuff here. So it'll take me, you want to adjust this just so you're taking a little tiny bit off. You see, if you're doing that, you're not doing anything. So just tighten it up a hair. yourself another little tighten. Now what you're going to see here is that you've taken off just a little tiny kind of shaving kind of sawdust kind of stuff. So you just keep doing that. And you hear it bump. Beeswax. Makes the plane happy. So it caught just a little bit more. And we just keep going down this thing. All of a sudden you get Kind of a nice little shaving. I'm kind of doing one edge and then the other edge. So we're getting more shavings. Not getting any kind of complete shavings, but we're getting shavings. I might mention what I'm planning here is the face side of the trim for the sewing table. You can see I'm starting to get a lot more cut. I've got lines in here, which is okay. Starting to get some longer shavings. You see what happened right there? So we got a pretty long little shaving there. See, I'm getting a real nice shape. Yeah. If you're listening to it, you're not hearing it skip anywhere. So 
So right now, there's a bad bump down here. You have to look at your grain. So all this grain's coming up like this and then it dives back down over here. So there's a, there's a bad place here that I've actually gotten okay. So that is the first cut you would take off the joiner. And as you saw, that it really wasn't flat when we first started, but then we started getting nice long shavings. So let's take and use what's known as a smoother plane, which is shorter than the jack plane. And this blade's just been finely sharpened. Uh, and I've got a video on that. And so, and I've got a, this, this plane has an adjustable mouth. So you can adjust this space right here. And that has a lot to do with the shaving you're taking off. And uh, you just have to learn how to do that by doing it, I think. That's the way I've learned how to do everything. So this plane is almost as wide as the board. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to just see what happens when I go down. Now I'm gonna adjust this. It's taking nothing. This one's got just a slight little bit of backlash. When you're dealing with the plane and you're adjusting it, you're taking that wheel and you move it back and forth. And you see how easy that moves? That's really not moving the plane any at all. So every time you want to tighten the plane, if you loosen it, you have to tighten it back to its tighten point. So that's just snug. And I'm getting just what I call sawdust. You see that? So I'm going to tighten it just a hair more. Ah, uh, that's what I want. I'm getting the lightest of cutting you can possibly imagine right there. That's beautiful. Now something that's happening is all my shavings are coming up on this side of the blade or on this side. So I'm going to take this adjuster and I'm going to pull it just a hair to that side and see if I can get the, the shaving to come out of the middle. And there you go. See that shaving that just came out? That is a beautiful thing. That is a sharp plane. Yay. Another thing is the edge of these blades are curved on each end, so you don't run a line. If you, can, you don't get a line in the board. So I can put my fingers across this, and I don't feel a line at all. Matter of fact, it feels like it's smooth as glass. This is sweet. If you get a continuous shaving all the way down, there you go. That's done. That is a beautiful glass surface. So let's do it over again. Well, there you go. We won't do another piece of wood. It looks kind of the same thing the second time and the third time and the fourth time. Process takes about six, seven, eight minutes to do one board like I just did it. Uh, you can get better, and I was uh, taking my time doing that first one. Uh, hope you've learned something from this, and, uh, and, and, and if you don't, if you got any questions, just put them down below, and I'll, I'll try to answer them for you. There's a lot of videos out there on planing. Uh, look at some more videos. Uh, try it and try it and try it. Just keep trying it. It does work, and it and just produces a glassy, glassy surface that just can't be beat. So thanks for watching this video today. If you haven't uh, subscribed 
to my videos, uh, please click up there and hit the subscribe button and subscribe to my channel. There's a lot more coming. Also, take advantage of my website, little eye up there in the top. My website's got lots and lots of projects on it that I've built for the shop and some other projects I've built for small boxes and small pieces of furniture. I do appreciate you watching today. Thank you.